This is Dr. Phil Chavez. Brothers, many agree a key reason for the decline of family, of church, and society is for lack of genuine men. Men and women both complain, where are the real men? But brothers, what exactly constitutes a real man? There are so many perspectives revealed through history, countless viewpoints from notable authors, and numerous accounts of strong figures in the Bible. So this is a challenging topic, not only due to the many perspectives out there, but also, I think, because the modern age manifested a kind of confusion where we move from one extreme to the other, shifting from the harsh, demanding, inflexible male of the past to this mild, passive, compliant man of recent decades. Neither extreme is acceptable, and let's be honest, neither works. And so what are the women saying today? You know, I hear the single ladies often complain, I am tired of weak men. Now it seems to me deep within, women are looking for sacrificial leaders, strong protectors, and secure providers. And men, I say young and old, men look up to a William Wallace, a George Patton, a George Washington. This is what we're looking for, a man of strength and conviction. A man men can look up to, to follow, to admire. A complete man who has what it takes to fulfill his mission and complete whatever is required of him. Of course, with a balanced character and with self-possession. Now, if a man becomes narrowed down to two words, I describe him as a lion and a lamb. A lion who is bold, steadfast, brave, and daring. And a lamb who is kind, gentle, compassionate, and caring. A true man, it seems to me, possesses the character a composite of a lion and a lamb through which he carries out the powers and qualities necessary to fulfill his relationships and his duties at home, in his church, in his community. Such a man as this, Proverbs states, he will stand before kings and he will not stand before obscure men. Brothers, God be with you.